What's up, everybody? I'm not up here. Welcome back to Home, a unique horror story. Uh, I'm picking back up where I left off previously. I have made it back to my own house. I've made it through the fa the um, the mansion, the sewer, the factory, the or the mansion, the sewer, the woods, the factory, and now my house. Oh, and Norman's house. The door was stuck stuck shut. There was an old-fashioned keyhole underneath the handle. These people have big ass homes, man. I had found the last missing piece of my wallet. The old photo of Rachel I had stared back at me, it reminded me of the better times. It didn't make me feel terribly comfortable. Did I keep it anyway? I replaced the photo in my wallet, feeling like I had got part of my life back. Still, the image made me uneasy. Why had I thrown it away to begin with? Our television, I had purchased it before I knew I was going to lose my job. I felt pretty guilty about it afterwards, but by then, it was too late. I know that feeling, bud. So, my theory is that Norman and Rachel were having an affair, and he found out about it. He killed Norman, but I don't know how the mansion and... I don't know how the mansion and the sewers tie into it, but the factory, he went back to... He, it just his blind rage, just how mad he was when he finally snapped, I'm guessing. Uh, he just went back there and had been drinking there himself. What? No. Our hallway mirror had been smashed. Its pieces shattered on the floor. And I'm guessing Rachel is dead. I'm guessing he killed Rachel. The books there were half mine, half Rachel's. Hey, now that I looked more closely, it looked like the man in that house had some of the same books as I did. There was a suitcase on the bed. It was Rachel's. I remembered it from that trip we took out west. Did I open it? I wasn't sure what to make of the suitcase contents. Inside were a few days worth of clothes, some toilets, toiletries, and a train ticket. Where was she planning to go? She was leaving him. Because he had gone mad after losing his job. I'm guessing he was a stowaway in the mansion as well. The laptop had been left on and only had, had a tiny bit of power left. On the screen was a website around the old water tower. There was a key on top of the drawer of my desk. Did I take it? I pocketed the key. The laptop was warm. It had been running for a while. Hmm. Our sink, which needed to be replaced, one of the taps always stuck, but I hadn't gotten around to fixing it yet. We were lucky enough to get a house with one of those wonderful old cloth-footed bathtubs. It seemed impractical at times, but it was part of what made the house home. The old house was charming for sure, but it wasn't always easy. Okay, so now I need to go back downstairs. Back downstairs again. Right? I unlocked the basement door. There were old Christmas decorations in the box. I couldn't even remember our last Christmas. The garbage bags were stuffed with old paint cans and supplies. There was a dirty old key there. Did I take the key? I look, took the small key and tried to remember what it was unlocked. There were old clothes, tools, and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. We had way too much junk. I had put up this divider wall last summer so we could create a separate room in the basement. I hadn't finished it yet so the door was stuck and the drywall was poorly installed. I might have been able to break through if I found something heavy enough. I put up this... Ah. You have a board. What am I missing? Uh, the chair's tipped over. I just noticed that. I had to have missed something. The grandma key I had found in the basement unlocked the door. Ah! It looked like the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did someone break in? There was an old crowbar on the floor. Did I? Yes. I lifted the heavy crowbar and appreciated its weight.
Did I break through the wall with the crowbar? With a heave, I swing the crowbar on the wall and smash a hole, a hole large enough to step through. As I stepped through the broken wall, my breath caught in my throat. That this was it. Was Rachel down here? Was she okay? Filthy looking pile of rags had been dumped in the corner. The stench of them was awful and made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what would lie with them, but I knew I had to. I had come this fall after all the searching, after all I had seen. When I looked within the rags, did I finally find my Rachel? It was worse than I could have possibly imagined within the folds of that rotten smelling heavy fabric was the pale dead figure of my darling wife. What struck me most was that she wasn't bloody or torn apart, rather she was covered in sticky green bruises and her windpipe had been crushed. The real horror was whoever had killed her had done so int intimately with bare hands. So this is what had been gnawing in the back of my mind this whole time. This is what I was afraid of. I thought about all I had seen and wondered if any of it could have helped me figure out who had done this. And when I couldn't stay there any longer, I stepped away on shaking legs and made my way back upstairs. Reluctantly exhausted from my journey, I could no longer resist the urge to close my eyes. Maybe I... We'd use some of Rachel's travel books and find some place to go. It was my wallet with its context tag. Either I dropped that stuff or somebody else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking in or maybe someone st somebody stole it from me. Norman's store, that forest, the water tower. Was I at those places before? I didn't see how it could have happened with any other way. I must have been the one to lose my wallet and its contents, but what does that mean? Here it was decided. No matter what, I needed some kind of escape. This was the old photo of the other man and his wife, I assumed. I found it in that house. I recall those faded remains I had found deep underneath the house. What had he done there? Well, what did I think? Mom wasn't sure, but the poor old bastard was good and dead. He was a victim, not a criminal. Who had killed him? Within a few broken pieces that remained in the mirror, I could see my face had grown pale and weak. I couldn't bear to look at it again. It was like I didn't actually expect that reflection. I felt empty and drained. The reflection in that grimly glass was only a shadow, a whisper. I still love the old-time charm of that cloth-footed bathtub, though it seemed like cold comfort then. It was the key card I found in the factory, the one that allowed me to slip through that door. It seemed to me that it, that it was probably Norman's, but if that was true, what was he doing back at the plant? Did I think Norman was going back to the factory? Yes, it must have been him. He must have been using the old locker room. The laptop had finally run out of power. I should have said no, Norman was not going back to the factory. It was me. My old office safe sat on the floor. I used to keep the tax records and other important documents in it. I used a digital passcode lock, but I didn't have the code. Maybe I had left it somewhere. I leafed through the notebook and I had taken from the forest. In it were the names that had been written down. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Iris, Daphne, Holly, Rose, Rachel. I recalled the names I saw scratched out on that old desk. Deep within those musty tunnels was the man in that house really up to something. If I could find the code for the safe, maybe I could still open it. Oh my god. I love this game. It's wonderful. It was a letter I had taken from the post box. Who had it out for Mormon? Who sent him that letter? It must have been someone from the neighborhood, or at least somebody wanted to look that way. I wasn't sure what to think. Did Norman... Did he murder Rachel? No. 
Dorn had ended up dead himself. Whoever sent that threatening letter must have got to him. But who the hell was that? I still had no idea what was on that tape I had found in the garbage. If only I had found a way to watch it. From now on, I'd have... I'd have no one to get angry with me for stupid things like buying this TV. Oh, there were so many things I missed! Ah! Seemed like I had seen all there was. Maybe I thought I was ready to go back to the basement. The mail still sat there heaped on the floor. How long had Rachel been lying in the basement? God, I missed so much! There would be no more dinners here, no more chit chat over breakfast, at least not for us. Oh my god, I miss so much shit! Oh, I can't even examine any of that shit anymore. I needed to put any into the situation one way or another. How the fuck do I do that? I don't understand. Okay, can I go out the front door? There is nothing for me here anymore. No reason to stay in that house. Did I leave? Never to return? Yes. Living in this town hadn't been easy. The plant had helped in some way to stay grounded. It kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from the past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I had started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. I had MRIs and piles of doctor's report, but nothing seemed to help, not even drinking. But I swear I had tried to give it up, and I know it. The sleepwalking never really went away, though. But I know Rachel had tried. I know she had tried to be there for me, even when everything was falling apart. This night had unearthed terrible truths, but I knew it was a final act of a long-standing horror I'd be living. Waking up in the house tonight was the final cruelty. I wish I had remained unconscious in that room forever. I wasn't sure what had happened to that other man I had found in that house. He seemed to me more a victim, but what was his role in this? Now that I had thought of it, those sewers were a terrible mystery. What had happened there? I was lucky in my way to even find my way out of there. But I never did find out what was on that tape that I know I kept, that I now kept what might have shown me. I had found the contents of my wallet scattered throughout the town. Why the hell had I been out there? Had my sleepwalking gone to some new extreme? The thought that I couldn't account for my whereabouts, but knew I had been to that forest and even Norman's place, well, it was terrifying. I didn't know what this meant, but at least I had to recover my things. Hopefully I thought that they would cover my tracks, so I wouldn't be blamed for all of this. Deep within those wounds, though, there was a thing that became truly awful. Finding that notebook only made things worse. Rachel's name had been on that list, so what terrible plot was she part of? There was a similar list of names on that desk back in the, those tunnels. What was the connection? It was clear at least that Norman had been going back to the old plant. Maybe he was the one who had boarded up that locker room who had been drinking up there in that secret hiding place. So had he killed that guard then, he must have. Maybe he, f he was found out or, or the guard had caught him on patrol. Damn it, Norman, why? After the factory, I thought I might find some solace if I could just get to Norman's store, but all I had found were the more horrors and more questions. Now that I really consider it, that's when I should have seen it coming. Damn, Norman, how did you get mixed up all this? I know you weren't a perfect man, none of us are, but you didn't deserve this. Maybe whoever had done you in the inn was responsible for the other murders that happened in that town. At the very least, I was convinced you and Rachel were killed by the same person. I sincerely hoped you would find some peace, my friend. I knew I never would. When I had marched through the rain towards home, I desperately clung to the hope that this would end. And I guess in a way it did, but how could I have known how hopeless it all was? I had started to feel as disoriented as I as when I sleepwalked to think of it now. Our house used to feel so lively, so warm, but coming into the kitchen, I felt only a cold, empty tension. Every terrible thought I, I had up to that point was suddenly a possibility, but nothing could have prepared me. My wife dead, ruined, discarded. Rachel's death was a terrible mystery to me, one that would haunt me forever unless I did something about it. For what solace can a man take in the death of his wife? What comfort can be offered? Rachel had been taken from me, and I might never know why. As I swung open the door and stepped out into the air, I caught the scent of wet grass and fog. Rachel, my beautiful wife,
just the thought of her again. Cold and inert shook me from head to toe. What would I do now? Who would I turn to? It would only be a matter of time before the police got involved, before the neighbors knew. The front lawn was soft and given beneath my feet, and I couldn't shake the urge that I shouldn't stand there, but rather that I should run. So that's the end. God, I missed so much! Oh, there was so much I missed somehow. Okay, I know. Like I said, I know. <sighs> the electrical panel that unlocked that door. I know I missed that. I apparently, I didn't think to go back. Home is dedicated to my wife, Nancy. Wash your back. <laughs> That's creepy. Um, I know I missed that door back in the, what was it, the sewers? And I could have could have gone and checked again, and I didn't. I didn't even think about it. And by the time I did realize it was too freaking late. Oh, my God. I never did find a VCR to watch that VHS tape. There's so much crap I didn't know, and I didn't have a code to that safe. That had to have been somewhere in the mansion or the sewer. I'm sure of it. Maybe even the, maybe even in the factory behind that door, since it's where I used to work. Damn, man. Anyway, so that's the end of home for this time around. Um, I may go back and do a few uh, mix and match videos showing what I missed. Um, maybe if if I get time in between my other in between my other recordings, um, because I really want to know what was behind all the other stuff. I really want to know the whole story. I want to know what was going on with Rachel and Norman. What was the final straw for him to snap? Because I know Rachel and Norman were having an affair. Uh, I know that had to be it. Um. I was definitely the killer. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind about that. So, you know, I just really want to... I really want to see what happens with all the other stuff piled up. All the other evidence. But, um... Yeah, that'll, that's the end of Home. You guys... This is a great game. Check it out. You know, I mean, I didn't show everything I mean if you watch this you know the big ending but there's so much more to find that I did not find that if you played through this it would be totally worth it like I said it's only like I think I bought this for two dollars and forty three cents on the PlayStation Store on the PS4 so it's not too expensive I think it was on sale I think normally it's like two ninety nine but still totally worth it but as you see it's a pretty long game too um, it took me three videos, one 25 minute, one 40 minute, and this last one's about 25 minutes almost, uh, more like 20, but, um, anyway, leave a comment in the section below of any, any tips you may have of the things I missed, you know, what they were, go ahead and let me know, if you know, tell me, please, I am so interested in stuff like that. Uh, or if you had a different theory about him not being the killer and know a few other things that I do not, please enlighten me. I, like I said, I love stuff like that. I love finding out new information about these small, open-ended games. Um, and as always, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you don't miss a single video I have coming out. I have uploads every Saturday between noon, uh, noon central time. So I think that is 11 a.m., uh, Pacific time, I think, I'm, I'm kind of bad with time zones here, <laughs> but between noon and like 4, I have videos uploading throughout the day on Saturdays, um, I'm going to probably do every other weekend, so you don't want to miss a single video I'm uploading, I'm going to upload it as many as I possibly can each Saturday that I upload. But until next time, this is Monarchonut, over and out.